Hey y'all, it's the Baker Girl here. I had mentioned before that I would be doing a video about a food item in particular. And I'm just going to have to say that we're going to do a variety of canned salmon. I had not been um, a canned salmon eater for a very long time. And um, a Jerry friend of mine, actually the first name is Jerry, um, he actually turned me on to salmon patties. And I actually enjoy them. The cat, he eats a little bit of it. But I think my thing is, is when I went and I started looking at this stuff, this is a product of China, all right? And, and we get this somewhere else. Now, this is from our local Save-A-Lots, all right? So Save-A-Lots, we're looking at it here, and it says it's a product of China, too. Now, when we're looking at the ingredients, it says that there is pink salmon, water, or salt and water. Okay, and this one, this one says wild or Alaska wild caught pink salmon, water and salt. So there's more water in this than there is salt. This has more salt than water. Now, in knowing that these are both supposed to be products of China, but they are what caught. It says it's an Alaskan fish. So apparently the species of fish, you know, kind of puts it there. But when you're looking at the things, I'm I'm one of those people that I have low iron and low blood sugar. So I have to eat certain things or get certain beverages and things. When I start to feel the bog down feeling, I reduce my nicotine intake. Um, that's definitely something that I can tell if I've had too many cigarettes, I'm definitely feeling way more sluggish, but, um, in eating like something solid to eat, I'm looking at the iron content. Okay. So this has 6% of the daily value that I would need. This one has 8% and my favorite Okay, this one actually has 4%. This one has the least amount of iron in it. See what's right there? It's an all-American product. The front says pink salmon, wild-caught Alaskan, the all-American, the Patriot brand of canned salmon. Now, when you're looking at the, in the ingredients in this thing, um, I'm going to have to say... Uh, the Peter Pan Seafood Company puts no water in it, just salmon and salt. They're not diluting what is what is in the, the can. Okay, I'm just saying, like, they're not diluting what's in it. You put a little salt in it as the preservative, and it's just good stuff. These... That they added the water means you're going to end up, like, this might be your milder brand, but these are products of China. I don't know if it's because Chinese people caught the fish and we packaged them and canned them and distributed them, or they canned them and we distributed them. It says it's a product of China, so I'm guessing the can and the processing inside is a product of China. In both cases, they've added water to their salmon and salt. Less or more, the American main product is just straight salmon, salt, and its own brine, like the, the business that it's in, okay? Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention here, that this serving size, it says there's about five servings in here, the third of a cup. This one right here, it says that there's one serving in here, one canned drained. This is five ounces. Okay, for one serving, I know I can make two salmon patties out of this. So the portion distortion here, kind of iffy. Okay, something like this. It says one quarter cup serving and per, per container, there's 4.5 when you drain it. So they put stuff in here for us to remove it. That doesn't really bend, like add to the deliciousness of the product. Um, and this does have the most iron in it, but it's like a Chinese product. <sighs> when you go into the stores and you're looking at things, the daily fat, this has more fat in it. Mmm. 4% more cholesterol. Or water. Okay, sodium. Oh, almost a little shy of two times. There's no carbohydrates in it. And your grams of protein, 17 grams. 14 grams. 
12 grams. 12 grams of protein, 14 grams of protein. And the good old American can of salmon, 18. Okay, I'm just saying 17. 17%. I'm still